Love is God and God is love. A relationship without God is as good as using it because God is the foundation of love. Praise the Lord, friends. How are you? My name is John Nathan Owara. By the grace of God, I coordinate scripture union work in Northern Region. My office is in Lira, and I am blessed to be here. I am married to Faith Irene Owara. We have one beautiful daughter, and we thank God for that opportunity. Today, I want to talk to you about love and relationships. Those are two different topics, but one interfuses into the other. One is a subset of the other. Relationships stem out of love. And without love, there can be no relationship. So today I want to talk about love and relationships. Um, 1 John chapter 4, verse 8 says this. It says, love is God and God is love. God and love cannot be separated. God is love and love is God. The two cannot be separated. So we're talking about love first, then talk about relationships. A relationship without love is as good as useless. A relationship without God is as good as useless because God is the foundation of love and the foundation, therefore, of every relationship. This is the way two or more all things are connected or, inter or interact. That is love. Two or more things or people interact through love. It's a state of being connected, for example, by blood, marriage, work, or friendship. That is love. So when we talk about love, we say that God is love. So the earthly definition is that it's a connection. It's not different from a heavenly uh, definition because it's also a connection. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So God is the foundation of everything. It started in Him. It ends in Him. In the beginning, He created. Including relationships, it's God that created. And that's how He created Adam and Eve and gave them the responsibility to coexist. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 tells us something important. It says, then God said, not man. No, no, no. God said. Remember, I just said that God is the foundation of everything. He's the foundation of love. He's the foundation of relationship. Then God said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion. Let them have authority over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God decided that he should create man in his image. It is in the image of God to have a relationship. It is in the image of God to have a relationship between one person and another. And therefore, for that relationship to be complete, love must exist. John chapter 3 verse 16 tells us something important. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Again, we see God initiating a relationship. Again, we see God initiating a coexistence. He says, let us make man in our image. Then again, he says, let me send my son to die for them. That is love. God gets his best and gives. Love gives its best. John chapter 15 verse 15 says this, No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what, is his master, what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all things that I heard from my father, I have made known to you. After God loving us and sending Jesus, Jesus now says, I no longer call you servants. I call you friends. That's a relationship. It's no longer a master-servant relationship. It is now a father-son, brother-brother, sister-sister relationship. That's why love and relationships are intertwined. One is a subset of the other. 
the relationship stems out of love. Without love, there is no relationship. And that is why, as usual, I use acronyms or abbreviations. And I want to turn your, uh, your attention to the word relationships. The word relationships has so many, so many letters, but I will try to use them quickly. Because talking about love, let's talk about relationships. John 15, 15 has put a good foundation for us, and therefore we'll be able to continue in that direction. We'll write relationship downwards. R E L A T I O N S H I P. So what is a relationship? Having known what love is. R. A relationship is a responsibility. Very important for you to know. A relationship is a responsibility. God took the responsibility and the initiative to start a relationship with us. It is our part of the bargain to keep it. We should be able to keep that relationship through prayer, through giving, through caring for the other people. If you're in a relationship with a lady or a gentleman and you think it is their responsibility only to give to you or to do things to you, that is not a relationship. A relationship has two people, with res each of them with responsibility. And responsibilities vary from one relationship to another. What is happening in this relationship may not be the exact thing happening in a relationship. If you are relating for marriage, each of you has a different responsibility. If you are in a family and you have a relationship between you and your father, each of you have a, a responsibility. If it's a relationship at a workplace, each of you has responsibility. It's important that we know that a relationship is a responsibility. A responsibility that stems out of respect. We are still on R. Relationship is a responsibility that stems out of respect. You respect the girl, you respect the boy. You respect mommy, you respect daddy. Relationships are responsibility. Relationships are eternal. E is for eternal. A relationship is eternal. It's not something that starts and ends abruptly. If you are relating with a girl or a boy for sexual re reasons, it's not eternal. It's a short thing. But it can be eternal because the effects of sex before marriage can be eternal. They can be for a long time. So please be careful. Remember that a relationship is eternal. Dear friend, if you're relating with somebody for a short period of time because you expect something from them, that is not a God relationship. So a relationship is eternal. L, a relationship has its foundation on love. I talked about it. The foundation for every relationship should be love. Whether you're enemy, whether there's poverty, whatever, love is the foundation. A, in every relationship there must be acceptance. God accepted you and I the way we are. <laughs> some of us were thieves. Some of us we were, we know we were, some of us we were sexu sexually immoral. Some of us we were, we were, we were, you know, we, we come from, some of us are witch doctors. Some of us we were very bitter and angry. But God accepted us. Every relationship stems out of acceptance. Please, accept people. Give them the opportunity to relate with you. Whether at the workplace, whether they are short, they are tall, they are fat, they are small, they have a big nose, they have a big head. Give people the opportunity. Accept them the way they are. Because God accepted you and I the way we are. With all our flaws, He accepted us. A relationship is about time. T is for time. A relationship needs time to grow. It can take one month, two months, no, you, and you're tired, you're already angry and bitter. Jesus took, it took Jesus three years, the Son of God, three years and a half to walk with his disciples. This is the Son of God, three years. What about you? Are you patient with people? It's about, it's about time. Relationships need time to grow. 
relationships are of integrity. I is for integrity. Integrity is doing the right thing even when no one else is seeing. That's integrity. So if you're relating with your dad and you only do good things when your dad is seeing, that's a, a wrong relationship. If you're in a relationship with your mom and you're doing the right thing only when mom is seeing, that's a, a wrong relationship. If you're with your girlfriend or, your, or whatever, your, your spouse, and you're, you're only relating because they are seeing you, and when they're not seeing you, you're cheating on them, that's a wrong relationship. Do the right thing, even when no one else is seeing. That's called integrity. A relationship is about organization. Be organized in your relationship, please. Know what to do at what time. Know when something's supposed to happen. Boys and girls, fathers and daughters, mothers and sons, what are you supposed to do at what time? Relationships need organization. You are supposed to be organized in a relationship. Know what to do at what time. Relationships are about networking. Networking. Not every relationship should end in, in sex. Not every relationship should end in, uh, uh, in, in, in theft. Not every relationship should end in bitterness. Not every relationship should end bad. Relationships about networking. I'll give you an example. With the Good News Productions International, who are our partners at Scripture Union, I can assure you that there's nothing evil about this relationship. It's a networking relationship. We're spreading the kingdom of God. Networking. Sometimes you just meet people and people will propel you forward. So relationship is about networking. Don't only see what do I get from them? What do I get? No, 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 no. Sometimes you just need friendship. A relationship is about sacrifice. The things that we do, we let go for the sake of the other person. Now, the things you shouldn't let go are things about your dignity. Don't sacrifice your dignity. But you can sacrifice some behavior, sacrifice some bad manners, <laughs> sacrifice some things for the sake of the relationship to function well or to bear fruit. No, this is how they created me. Me, me, I can't change. Me, I, yeah. No, 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 no. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. You know, for us, that, that's how, no, no. There are some things you have to put down. But like I said, do not sacrifice your dignity. A relationship is about honesty. H is for honesty. We need to be honest. Tell the truth in a relationship. Very, very important. A relationship is about intimacy. I like that one. Intimacy. Husband and wife, intimacy. You know what I mean. Intimacy. Parents, intimacy. It's important that you are intimate. And the intimacy I'm talking about is being close. Having time to laugh. Having time to eat together. Sitting and talking. Gardening together. Watching movies together. That brings people close. People only think about intimacy in terms of sex. Sex is not the only... In fact, sex is an outcome of intimacy. It's an outcome of closeness for those who are married. Now, you who is not married, I'm not talking about that one. So being close, being close is intimacy. How do you build it? Watching movies, eating together, walking together, gardening together, driving together, riding together, talking, calling, messaging, godly stuff, of course, brings intimacy and closeness. Lastly, relationship or a relationship is about people. The biggest and the center of all relationship is people. People have relationship with cows and goats and dogs, but those ones are not eternal. Relationships with people are eternal. They are forever. They last long. So a relationship is about people. Be around people. Walk with people. Serve people. Remember, Jesus said in John 15, 15, I no longer call you servants. For a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. 
for all things that I had from my father, I have made known to you. Relationships are about people. A relationship, R for respect, or R for responsibility, which comes out of respect, E for eternity, relationships, L for love, A for acceptance, T for time, I for integrity, O for organization, N for networking, S for sacrifice, H for honest, I for intimacy, and P for people. God bless you so much as we build our relationships on love, and that love is God. Till next time, God bless you. Love is God, and God is love. A relationship without God is as good as using it, because God is the foundation of love.